pleasant day to the UP Visayas community. And of course, a special shout out to my fellow scholars ng Bayan, our dear graduates. I'd also like to greet the parents, faculty, staff, and our dear administration. Mabuhay kayong lahat. Like you, I recently graduated and finished a course on positive psychology at the University of Melbourne. And like you, I had so many sleepless nights finishing modules and requirements and long hours of online classes, and all these within the four corners of my room. And throughout the duration of my study, I tried to remain connected to my purpose for getting this positive psychology course. I believe people needed it. You know, since the pandemic started, my company has been receiving numerous requests for trainings on positivity, mental wellness, well-being courses, optimism and recovery, coping with adversity, and similar courses to inspire people and organizations as we face the challenges brought about by the pandemic, which has not excluded anyone. Now that I have finished, it's time to pay it forward and to share my learnings. And you are my first audience, having just received my certificate yesterday. Allow me to share five powers that we all have that you can all tap in your journey after your university life comes to an end. First, the power of why. It is important to choose your why. To be happy is a choice. It depends on your purpose. Depending on the meaningfulness of your purpose, you will be happy. So your purpose is what will direct your career from this point forward. You know, during the World War II, Jews were persecuted by the Nazis and sent to concentration camps. They lost their possessions, their loved ones, and they experienced unimaginable hardships mentally, physically. Millions died in gas chambers and out of despair. But some survived. One of them was Viktor Frankl. He wrote a book entitled Man's Search for Meaning, where he shared how he was able to endure that time. It was his purpose that kept him alive. And he says, if you know your why, you will endure anyhow. And he also says, we must acknowledge the need to make sense of our lives. So he never lost making sense of his life in spite of the extreme difficulties. So there you have it, the power of why. Second, the power of vulnerabilities. Vulnerability, according to the pioneer of vulnerability science, that's Brené Brown, it is the uncertainty, risk, and emotional exposure that we all experience. It is about letting go of the fear to lose control. And it comes about as a consequence of accepting our imperfections and realizing that we can make mistakes, we can commit slips and blips, but here's one thing. We can always start again. We can always learn from our mistakes. And I really like this line from Anne of Green Gables. Tomorrow is always a new day with no mistakes in it yet. Now talk about yet brings me to the third power, which is the power of yet. If something is not yet happening, don't think that it's the end of the world. Think it has not happened yet. Then this will foster growth mindset instead of a fixed mindset. It will lead to perseverance, grit, and resilience because you will never give up until you have achieved the purpose you have defined for yourself. Not everything can happen in a touch of a finger as we do for uh, our tablets and our uh, cell phones and our apps. There's no app that will automatically take you to where you want to go. You want a PhD? You have to work hard for it. You want to be a CEO? You need to start somewhere. And so, believe that you can do something that you can do something for society, that you can make something meaningful out of yourself. Then, fourth, the power of pause. Of course, there will be challenges and difficulties so we can regulate and lessen the strength 
of the negative circumstances and turn it to something positive and also control what enters our brain. This is through the power of pause, reflection, the power to think well. In our company, we have a new version of ra ra ra. Instead of action, 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 and ending in a burnout, ours is a reflect, act, reflect, act, reflect, act trajectory. No, so that we remain in touch with our purpose and our lives are always in check. Then finally, the power of positivity, of course. Let me share with you what positive psychology does. And this explains why I really fell in love with the science. Viewing even the most distressed person as more than the sum of damaged habits, conflicts, and malfunctioning brains, positive psychology looks at the person's intact faculties, ambitions, positive life experiences, and strengths of character. Believe in your strengths. That's what positive psychology is all about. Focusing on your strengths to achieve human flourishing and well-being. And one important strength that you have is that you have your UP education. Now, as you end your journey as students, what matters most is not the degree that you have earned, but the person that you have become and the person that you will become. Honor and excellence, these are the marks of a UP graduate. Continue living it as you pursue your dreams. So again, honor and excellence. Do not forget that. So again, congratulations and more power to all of you.